about you guys, but I am ready to go. We got our next people up here. They're going to be talking about their little thing. They are an assembly a little table back there. You can come visit them. I would like to invite Ome and Polto onto the stage. They're going to be talking with you guys about Swiss Crypto Economics Assembly and what they do. So go ahead and come on up, guys, and let us know what you got. Let's give them a hand. Thanks. Hi. Hello. So um, we are Swiss Crypto Economics. Uh, we are a, an assembly back there, as uh, Diego introduced us. And maybe we can go on to the next yeah. slide. I have no hands. Can <laughs> go? Sorry. No, yeah, you wanted no. that one. Yeah, yeah, OK. So uh, Swiss Crypto Economics. Why Swiss? Why Crypto Economics? So uh, Switzerland, as you may know, is a very interesting country in terms of its political structure. Uh, we, are, we have a quite decentralized political system where the cantons, the local states, have most of the power. So uh, we don't have this uh, uh, same political system is in most Europe where there is a central government that may impeach some uh, crypto project or something like that to emerge. So it's a very good uh, ecosystem for decentralized projects to, to emerge. And crypto economics is because we, uh, we have been a group of people from primarily uh, working in Swiss Roman in the area of cryptocurrencies and decentralization. And we started inviting uh, our friends from the community. Uh, and after three years, we, we are putting together a nice assembly and we are giving uh, nice content. Uh, well, first of all, it's a meeting point for all these people here, and, and then we're going to be contributing with talks, uh, workshops, and, and discussion groups. Mainly on these topics and uh, uh, points of interest, crypto economics, decentralization, governance, peer-to-peer, -peer uh, sorry, peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, and web-free privacy and ethics. And we would like to give a, a little word about all the different uh, projects and communities that uh, have uh, some representation within our assembly. So this is the, the list. I think we got all of them. And we're going to just give a few words about them. So um, yeah, some, some are like independent developers and they didn't want it to be cited here with a particular project. Uh, but for those who, who did, let's, uh, let's just briefly cite uh, them. So Alephium is a decentralized and scalable uh, blockchain with efficient cross-sharded uh, transactions. So they are working on, on this. Um, Bonfire Link is a community initiative experimenting with uh, uh, tools for and models for uh, self-organization and local action. Uh, Bullshit Money is my satirical project. It's a ERC20 token to talk about, uh, to trigger a discussion basically about uh, decentralization, about values, uh, scarcity, um, motivation of tokenization, and all these kind of things that are quite often bullshit. Uh, Dapnode, Dapnode is an open source software for building censorship resistant infrastructure layer owned and managed by individuals. Uh, data Found or Fair, Fair Data Society is a project to transform data into uh, assets on fair data principles. Uh, IDEN3 is self-sovereign identities on Ethereum. Merkleizer, a simple project to anchor uh, and verify data on public blockchain. NIM is an incentivized and decentralized mixnet that can provide uh, better anonymity than Tor for cryptocurrency and messaging applications. Uh, Pope, an open protocol for decentralized identities. And finally, Statebox, a uh, diagrammatic language for modeling processes in a compositional way and a formally verified technology stack for executing them. So we are the assembly which is uh, straight uh, at the end of the um, uh, critical decentralization cluster. You can find us there. And welcome to discuss all of these projects. And just maybe to, to highlight one of the uh, most interesting workshops that we have. Uh, tomorrow, I think, it's going to be a, from high school math to ZK Snarks. And it's going to be a six-hour workshop that I believe is going to be very interesting.
Thank you very much uh, for your attention. If you have any question to us, uh, there's a microphone here. Not too many at a time. Um, so we have more time, so maybe we can go back to um, topics and interests. Uh, so maybe we can talk a bit of crypto economics and how does that fit within this cluster? Um, honestly, I would cover like uh, you already talked about uh, um, the ZK Snark workshop. I would maybe uh, cover Dapnode because I think it's also interesting and maybe interesting for many people here. So uh, Dapnode is building a self-hosted infrastructure to to really control your own nodes, and um, it's a kind of Linux distribution where you can install in. Uh, models that will be also distributed in a decentralized uh, way using IPFS and here during the workshop you can learn how to build your own model for the DAP node to deploy your own uh, software on these DAP nodes. It may be a blockchain, something blockchain related but it can also be a non-blockchain project like Nextcloud or whatever else that may be hosted on your DAP node. And maybe also to, to explain a bit more about uh, Pope. Uh, so we have uh, attendance badges for the cluster. So um, if you go to the assembly, uh, you can get a, a little piece of paper with a QR code. And if you scan it, you will receive, uh, oh, uh, come on, show it here. <laughs> so, OK, so. Um, you have a little piece of paper that you can, with a QR code that you can scan, and it will uh, give you a non-fungible token on Ethereum that contains a proof that you were in the cluster. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, do you want to talk about another one uh, from those? No. Uh, do we have more time? Do we yeah, we have almost. All right. So. Maybe let's talk about the, uh, how crypto economics fits within this cluster. Uh, so for decentralized infrastructure, uh, this uh, in which there is no central authority, there needs to be some ways to uh, align the uh, behavior of the different participants in, the, in these networks. So that's primarily the, the point of um, um, the, the point of crypto economics is. Uh, how do we align these incentives with an economic model? And it's crypto because it uses uh, cryptography to enable these systems. Want to <laughs> help me here? No, I think I think we can wrap um, up here. Well, it's it's important for decentralization, uh, and it opens discussions about governance because they, these protocols at the end are controlled by by people that run this uh, this software in their machines. Um, and yeah, we're gonna have many many discussions about that. So you're very uh, very much invited to to join us in those discussions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Omen Polto of Swiss Crypto Economics. Once again, they're kind of more towards the back of this cluster. Uh, they're closer to the food, so good for them. Uh, you, by all means, go ahead and visit them back there.